Hello, this is Queen Comedos the Hoodoo Queen. Please stay tuned for some very personal announcements. Bonjour, it is me, Queen Comedos the Hoodoo Queen. Bienvenue, c'est mon chien. Welcome to my channel. This is your free weekly zodiac readings. Before we begin, as always, Please hit your subscribe button, leave a sweet kind comment below, and please hit your notification button so you know anytime that I make a new post. And of course, follow me on my artist and more personal page, Cotalia, so you can catch all the things you need in order to help elevate you on your personal path. Merci beaucoup. So today we are starting a little bit different, and I need for everyone to listen up because you can make a difference. As I have um, foresaw and I have mentioned about two weeks ago with Sagittarians, um, things that being crossed up, Maudit, La Melodiction, um, those things, and I was like, you know, we gotta do our cleansings. And I've already told you about my visions of death and so forth and so on. Well, it was um, for everyone that does follow me, if you've been following me a while, you know my little family or whatever, but we discovered um, just this past week and a half ago that Parker has cancer and um, he had to be, um, we had very few choices. Either we had to fly to Houston to have him sought after by the best oncologist in the um, country or Auburn here in Alabama, which was very fortunate. And so, which was four hours away. So we immediately had to pack up in the midst of me doing the free weekly zodiac readings and making posts and all of these things. I actually was on the road for about 12 hours um, there and back and finding a place to stay and a safe place to stay um, with, with all of this. So anyways, with that being said, um, they did everything they needed to do and um he unfortunately and unfortunately had to get his leg amputated which is where um they found the majority of the cancer um or the source of the cancer rather so um this has been a very difficult um last couple of weeks and again this actually lines up to the four deaths that i've already seen for my family i mean, i told one friend about a month ago maybe i'm like hey i'm pretty certain this is parker and this is before he was really showing any um like signs for real and all of those things but i was like when i'm thinking about everything this is where it's this is where it is um and I understand, and this is the thing about it with visions, they're not to always to prevent. And more, to the, and more times than not, it's not for you to prevent anything, but it is to prepare you for what is to come. And um, so with that being said, um, they have the current prognosis is saying that we probably will have him maybe for another four to six months. If we're lucky and through chemotherapy and all of those things, um, possibly, possibly um, eight months. Um, and so this is, you know, one of the last times um, that I will, you know, eventually I'll have to make the post that, you know, he's transitioned. Um, I know the idea of chemotherapy and things for dogs and so forth and so on may not resonate with you and you may not know what that entails it's not like a human because first of all let me tell you this we will not keep parker alive um or breathing and suffering that's not going to happen like if he is suffering we will not um have that and with everything that we had looked at and done the only suffering that he was dealing with at this current time is his leg <clears throat> and so we were able to remove that suffering and that pain immediately 
um, Parker is up in age. Um, so, you know, things do happen. Um, however, if he has six, maybe hopefully eight months to live, <clears throat> we more than likely will have to do chemotherapy and all of those things. Um, which means once and sometimes twice a month driving about four hours there and back, um, will be my life until Parker has transitioned. With that being said, um, and you all know I am not one to ask or anything, but I do know that you all are a loving community. I know that you all are a um, caring community as well. And so um, what I have created is for the um, this month's community service, there are some options okay as i mentioned last week these are not as expensive normally the most expensive has been like what 35 dollars or maybe more like when i did the high john i think it was 60. um but these drop so this um month's community service will be steady money and protection money work i am also considering doing a pay me now so that you can get your stimulus and your tax returns and those things quicker or more efficiently or if there are loans and things that you're trying to get to make that happen as well. So I may be doing a couple of different ones that you can sign up for. But with that, um, there will be a Parker donation um, option, which so, so you can do your community service and get that knocked out of the way but if you want to also give just to Parker because this is not inexpensive um, and and because of that my website will have to stay where it is for now um, I won't be switching until you know possibly into after Parker transitions but I have a system in my head that I'm going to do on my website to make the readings go back because they were smoother when I was just doing it manually than it is with the calendar. So um, I'm going to go back to, to a variation of that. Um, but because this is incredibly heavy financially, um, Parker still has life to live, you know, so it's not like a situation of, oh, he's suffering. He should you should make him suffer. He's not suffering now. Um, which is wonderful and he's under the um, care of these amazing techs in um, Auburn, Alabama. And so until um, once the, the moment, the moment that Parker begins to suffer is the moment that we will have to make that decision to let him transition. Um, that is the most strongest and effective type and action of love that you can give anybody and anything is to release them of their suffering. That is one of the last loving acts that anyone can provide. Um, and, and so just know that because I know some people have some particular feelings about it. And so this is the thing, this is the thing here. If you watch these free weekly Zodiac readings, and like I said, it has cost you nothing but a thumbs up and a like and a subscription. And some people struggle to do that. But if you get something from these free weekly Zodiac readings, I don't care that you don't get a um, community service, but please at least donate to Parker's donation, which will be on the website. It'll be right with the community services. Um, and I'll probably put a little situation in the store as well. So you have those options. Um, so yeah, so there's that. I'm not going to flood you with other information right now. We're going to go right ahead and get into the free weekly Zodiac readings. Um, I will be on the road here very shortly. So when you're watching this, I will probably be on the road. Um, we have to get a variety of things here so that Parker can be comfortable. 
Um, we have to make sure Dela, bless her heart, we have to make sure that Dela understands that, you know, they can't play like they used to. Um, he has an incision. Um, in seven days, they are going to give us a definite, definite prognosis. Um, so if the cancer is aggressive and I will go ahead and make this clear right now, let me go ahead and stop the drama, the trauma of it all. This has nothing to do with anybody crossing me up and throwing for me and all of these things. These, this is something that I saw, um, early 2020, early 2020, February of 2020, to be honest. Um, and then with the recent visions, it was very clear. Um, I did not know how it was going to come, but I knew that it was coming and here it is. So if you have enjoyed these free Zodiac readings, if you want to prove that this does something for your life, please give something to his. This is not for me, but I do know over the next couple of months, it is going to be, um, very, very, um, demanding, but I embrace it and I, um, accept it wholeheartedly. Deco, Merci. So let's begin your free weekly Zodiac readings. If this is your first time, please understand, or let me introduce myself again. I am Queen Comedos, the hoodoo queen of the Imperial Courts, Milner Medos de la Ponte owner of Comodos Conjure, the creators and the founders of the annual Hoodoo Queen Conjure Fed. Please get your virtual tickets. They are still available as well as in-house tickets, um, but definitely those virtual tickets, okay? <clears throat> and um, the, the owners of Country South Publications and um, the Country South Hoodoo Institute of Traditional African-American Conjure Root Work and Divination. Again, bienvenue, so mon cher, welcome to my channel. When I do the free weekly zodiac readings, I go from Capricorn to Sagittarius, Capricorn to Sagittarius. Make sure you're listening to every single one of these because we can pull and get lessons from all spaces, okay? I will be using the Essence of the Queen Oracle. This is my personal set that I don't think that I will be selling. Um, I don't think so, I just, don't feel the need to, but these are my personal sets. Um, I have the essence of the queen. Anyways, I'm not even going into that. So we'll be using these cards. So um, stay tuned. And most of all, thank you for any contribution that you have. The links will be below for Parker, for the um, community services and my readings, my private readings. And to be very honest, like, I mean, whatever extra would be wonderful, but there will be just a donation bar um, of $10. Um, and that's all that we're asking for. If you want to give more, feel free. But, um, but I do know if the views that I have, if you can at least donate that much, because I am grateful. I am very grateful. I'm um, blessed by the ancestors, but like this amputation, baby, it was something serious. And, um, and so it has shifted how I have to move in my life right now. Like it has shifted my whole life, my lifestyle. Um, but Hey, I do know this, whatever's happening to me is happening for me and the ancestors got me. They always have. So I'm not worried. Okay. Let's get into these readings. And again, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Bienvenue, welcome back. So, I also wanted to mention this really quick as well, I forgot this actually. Um, I will be opening up New Year's readings again, which will be a full forecast from March, 2021 to February, um, 2022. So I will be opening those up and I will be opening those up at the same price that I did in December, which will be $50, but that covers your whole year um, as well. So th there are different options in which you can contribute and help out to um, surrounding Parker and his piece. All right. 
maybe I should call it Parker's Peace Foundation or donation or something like that. And you may question, you know, Queen, you seem to be doing really well with it. That's because I really understand the um, the circle of life, if you will. Um, but my visions prepared me, you know, um, it's always been like this my whole life, whether it was it's Parker or a, a, a mentor or whatever the situation may be, I'm always prepared um, prior to the departure. So anyways, we begin Capricorns and go to Sagittarius. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Capricorns. Capricorns, if you get the card of the horse, the horse tells us that you have to walk into this week with complete confidence, with complete knowing. There is a new journey on your path. Step into that journey with absolute certainty that whatever is happening to you is happening for you. What you're going to get will be given. What you need to release will be released. So just really um, step into this week with that strong faith bottom line is about having faith on the new journey that will be presented to you or that you know that you will be taking this particular week that could be a job it could be a relationship it could be a um connection go over to my Italian page i just released a video on how to the difference in between connecting to your path and having a relationship within your path um, these are things that you, that are foundational for you. So there's Capricorns, Aquarius, Aquarius, nous avons Papa. Papa represents, um, one to provide. So this says this week will provide for you as you need to be provided for. But more importantly, you will hold the resources you need to fulfill whatever obligations or responsibilities that are needed for you or on you um, in your life. So it's very important to understand what you need, you're going to get, but you also will be able to give what is needed. So it's this steady um, symbiotic relationship of giving, 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 but also make sure that to whom and to what you may give can also provide and um and receive and receive um you know some people aren't ready to receive some people have not matured to accept or to obtain even whatever blessings they may or may not be so just keep that in mind okay pisces you get the card of the moon the card of the moon says you, this, I say it all the time. The grass you water is the grass that grows. This week, you need to really be clear and ob not even observe, acknowledge, acknowledge to whom and or what is helping your come up, is blessing you up, is lifting you up, is helping your elevation, your glow up. And you need to give gratitude and appreciation. Those are two totally different things. But making sure that you are giving that to whomever and to whatever is helping your um, glow up. Okay? Who's helping you grow? Aries. You get the card of the crab. The card of the crab says this week, don't get in your feelings. Don't get in your feelings this week, my Aries. There's a particular Aries I'm speaking to. Don't get in your feelings. Um, whatever this week is going to provide for you, this says that it may put you in a position to where you are highly in your feelings or highly emotional. Um, the best thing to do and to remain centered, grounded, and humbled, if you would like to say, would be before responding or reacting in your feelings, 
respond in this way, what are they going through? What are they growing through? What are they experiencing um, before responding and reacting to them or to the situation? So you have a better understanding before having to slap somebody. All right. So make sure that you're not responding emotionally this week. Respond spiritually, respond logically, but don't respond emotionally. Taurus, nous avons le chien. Le chien représente la confiance. Taurus, this says this is a week of loyalty for you. This is a week where you are definitely going to have to recognize who, what um, is loyal to you who you can trust, who has your um, best interest at heart and recognizing them, appreciating them. And then you may also see where loyalty is very fleeting around you, which means you need to respond and react to these people or places in that regards. So keeping your eye out on the space of loyalty and trust this week is where your stronghold is going to be. Okay, Taurus? Gemini, Gemini, you get the card of the crossroads. The card of the crossroads says that you are going to have some very serious life changing decisions to make. You're going to have some decisions that will shift the trajectory of your life. And so you just need to be ready and prepared for that. Let me go ahead and put it to you this way a little bit easier as well. Don't complain about the life you have if you are not making the decisions for the life you want. Don't complain about the life you have if you are not making decisions on the life you want. Don't complain about the, don't complain about, um, the, the world that you are existing in when you have not made any decisions to, ex to exist and to live or experience something differently. So this week is going to be about some major heavy hitter choices for you, Gemini. Cancers. Cancer, nous avons mariage. Mariage représente l'engagement. Cancers, this means that you are going to be coming unified with something or something, coming together as one. This is also saying you may need to be aware of some contracts or some um, commitments that you are going to have and that you are going to need to make and understand that once these commitments are done, they are going that they, they are um, promised, they are vowed and they are happening. So this is all about that space of true union, that true relationship, that true connection, that true team and 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 the promises, the vows, the obligations, the um, the commitments is where this is for you. So about committing. So also be aware of what you are committing yourself to, Cancers. Okay? Leo. Leo, nous avons Totu. Totu représente la préparation. La préparation. So, this is preparation. This tells us, um, Leos, this is a week where you need to be preparing to receive, preparing to achieve, preparing to release. This is a week of preparation. This is not a week of, of um, necessarily receiving or releasing, but this is a week that's preparing you. This is a week that's getting you ready. So make sure, as I always tell people, it's not if things are coming or happening, it's when they come or happen. Are you prepared? So make sure that you are prepared for whatever journey you're about to you're about to embark on, prepare for that thing. The blessings that you know that are coming into your life and that you know that are definitely manifesting, you need to 150% prepare for those things, okay? Wonderful. Thank you, Leo. Next is Virgo. But before we get into Virgo, I do want to just repeat um, to anyone who's just now tuning in or jumped ahead, please make sure you do take a moment and check out the community services for this up and coming month, it is steady money. It'll be um, money protection. It will be um, pay me now as well. I wanna just do those. But more importantly, that if you can and if you will donate to Parker's 
um, peace donation with his treatments of chemo and all of those things and um, so forth and so on. So I would very much appreciate it. The link is below. Virgo. Virgo, nous avons Lenny. Lenny. Lenny représente la, um, la, maison, la maison, which is the house. Virgos, your focus this week has to be your home or what you consider home. As I like to tell my clients, home is where the heart is. So where is your heart? Wherever that is, understand your blessings are going to come from that inside circle or be directed to that inside circle. Whatever issues are going to come from either that inside circle or be directed to that inside circle, that space of home. So understand that you need to bring your focus to home this week. Those people you consider home, those environments you consider home, that needs to be your focus. That needs to be your focus. Um, when there's work that needs to be done, do it at the house. Um, if there's emotional things that need to be handled, handle them at the house. If there's financial things that need to be handled, handle them at the house. And when I say the house, I don't necessarily mean the physical location, but those that you consider family and home, okay? Libra, you get the card of the crown. The card of the crown tells us, be careful what you ask for. Don't put more on your plate than you can actually take. Let me say that again. Don't put more on your plate than you can actually take. Don't overwhelm yourself just because the buffet of blessings are in front of you. Doesn't mean that that buffet of blessings that were all designed for you. Don't be greedy, accept what is yours and keep it moving. So this week, my Libras, you really, really got to focus on not putting more on your plate than what you actually can deal and handle with at this time. All right. Scorpio, nous avons le diable. Le diable représente la tentation. Okay. This is temptation. This says, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. But more importantly, just because it looks like sugar, don't mean it ain't salt. So test it. It could be sugar, but it could not be. So whatever is presented to you this week, whomever is presented to you this week, whomever you are introduced to or to whatever you're introduced to this week, I want you to assess that person assess that situation really study it before making your decisions and your moves surrounding this particular space and place all right sagittarius sagittarius we get force et foi. this is the card of strength and faith so the ancestors are saying queen clearly we know your situation your faith will be your strength during these times. Put your efforts, put your energy into your faith. This is it. Put your energy, put your efforts, put your knowing, put your, um, your, your trust in your faith. And that is where we have to stand, Sagittarians, for this week. Really standing in our faith and understanding that that is our backbone, that is our core, that is um, that space of strength for us. So strength and faith, so understanding that that's what we're coming with this week. Everyone, again, I do appreciate you. I love you dearly. Um, let's give Parker the best peace he could possibly have. Um, I will give y'all updates on him. And um, once we get him back, and you know, whatever else, but yes, I thank you so very much. Many, many blessings. I will speak to you all soon. Have a wonderful um, week. All the links will be below. It won't be a whole lot of descriptions, so that is not very um, confusing. And I'm going to be making some changes on the websites to surrounding my private readings so that it's more simple and easy to follow as well and all of those things. Again, merci beaucoup. I'll be on to Please visit www.countryself.com or click the link below to contribute to Parker's donation. 
Merci.